Now, for putting it all together, uh, here's a cheat sheet that will tell you how to do it step by step. First, uh, the first primary. Um, the first primary will depend on on the pH. If uh, the pH is uh, is low, then it's uh, it's an acidosis, and if it's high, then it's an alkalosis. And remember, reverse is respiratory. That means if you look at pH, you look at CO2, and the, and the numbers are going in reverse direction, then the disorder is respiratory. And if they're going in the same direction, then the reverse is metabolic. Second, try to figure out the compensation. If, the, if you decide that the first primary is metabolic acidosis, then you have to memorize and apply Winter's formula. If you decide that the first primary is, is a respiratory disorder, then go to the box. Remember, acidosis and alkalosis are on top. C comes before L because you're looking at a second primary. You're looking at the second letter of the alphabet. Acute comes before chronic, just chronologically. And then fill in the blanks with 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and 0.5. And that will give you all the factors you're going to need to, pr to predict the change in bicarb relative to the change in CO2. Finally, if the primary disorder is metabolic alkalosis, you're going to go for a 0.6 to try to figure out the change in um, CO2 relative to the change in bicarb. Third step is to try to figure out, is there a hidden disorder? Here, if there is an anion gap acidosis, you have to look for an acidosis or an alkalosis on top of everything else that you already found. In this case, the change in anion gap from normal, delta anion gap, minus the change in bicarb from normal, 24 minus bicarb, will, will be either a negative number or a positive number. If it's a negative number and you flip it on its side and you stick it at the third position, in the word acidosis, then it will just fit there. And if it's a positive number and you flip it on its side and then you push it a little bit, it becomes a K. And that will tell you that the third primary, because this is the third position in the word alkalosis, is an alkalosis. A simpler way to do the delta delta, if you don't want to subtract twice, is to use this equation. You add the anion gap to the bicarb and then you subtract 36. Again, if the number is negative, then it's a metabolic alkalo acidosis. If the number is positive, then it's a metabolic alkalosis. So, after or right before you start solving a problem, remember internal validity. This is something that you will want to forget, but don't. It's very important, because if the numbers don't work together, your, your analysis will all be wrong. The first step, internal validity. I call it step zero because I wanted to keep the first primary as number one and second primary as number two and so forth. Use this equation. It's the simple, simplified henderson hasselbach equation. Hydrogen ion concentration normally 40 equals 24 times CO2 divided by bicarb. If there is too much acid, then pH will drop. If there is too little acid, then pH will be higher.